We're midway through the COP15 climate change conference in Copenhagen, and the prospect of ICTs being acknowledged as part of the climate change solution is looking decidedly uncertain. But do ICTs need to be mentioned in the follow-up treaty to Kyoto? Does it matter? Well, yes it does, because having the ICT sector recognised in the Copenhagen text would provide an incentive to the ICT industry to invest in developing countries, help reduce the digital divide and at the same time help combat climate change. What we'd like to see happen is that um, the ICT sector is recognised as a sector in the text, especially to allow for um, the CDM mechanism to provide for carbon financing of some of the deployment of ICTs in developing countries. Currently the, uh, the CDM scope uh, lists 15 sectors, but ICT and telecommunications is not one of the 15 sectors. So the thousands of projects that are being funded through the CDM mechanism don't include things like broadband rollout, for example. So this is expensive for developing countries to roll out broadband and you need the broadband if you're going to benefit from ICTs in the terms of climate change by work, home working, e-governance, smart grids. You've got to have the broad, broadband background, background structure there. And uh, so I really believe that you know, this is something that should be looked at. On Thursday, the ITU pushed the green ICT message during an evening discussion group. It's doing everything it can to raise the profile of ICTs with the delegates here in Copenhagen. But where the ITU differs from other telecoms and IT organisations is that it correctly recognises that the industry would encounter questions about IPRs and technology transfer. And that's why it held its event here with WIPO, the World Intellectual Property Organisation. The problem is that IP is being dealt with from an ideological or political angle and not from a technical perspective. IP goes well beyond patents. Uh, we have new issues such as uh, traditional knowledge and of course uh, trademarks and copyrights and, and related rights. I think it is a, a narrow perspective and our view to try to see IP as patent only. And I, perhaps that's uh, at the root of the problem of the negotiating uh, text that we have right now. It also con only considers IP as, a, as a dealing with patents. I think it was put in the, at the beginning in, in Bali by uh, mainly environmental uh, negotiators without really knowing what they were getting into. <laughs> that's why uh, technical issues and an informed debate is so important and we have UN fora to deal, such as uh, the World Intellectual Property Organization, to deal with those issues. Now it's a bit out of hand. It has to be in, included in the technology transfer part, but not as a decisive uh, tool. Technology transfer is taking place between private sector enterprises. It doesn't happen between uh, governments. And usually the technology transfer f follows the flow of investment. It goes with it's safe, it goes with it they have with their fine partners. And this is very important. It will not happen in any other way. It is happening in countries like China, in countries like India that filed more and more patents than uh, ever before. China has filed uh, uh, three times more patents in this three years than in the last 30 years. So that goes to show that there's no north-south divide anymore. I think that uh, it's no longer about IP is not for the poor or the rich, it goes everywhere. After the wake-up call of the Barcelona pre-COP talks, the ITU responded to the lack of industry progress in getting ICTs recognised by the Copenhagen COP delegates. They identified a number of so-called non-papers, which are negotiating documents that could be modified to include ICTs. And they then urged their members to lobby their governments and delegations to get the message across. That list, four mentions, is now down to just one. And by the end of the day, we should know if ICTs will make it to the final week of negotiations. This is Guy Daniels for Telecom TV at the Climate Change Conference in Copenhagen.